Hey there, how's everything going? We've got another installment of Anyone Can Cook. Now I wanna remind you that the library's open and we're still doing summer reading. So make sure to log those minutes and make sure to check out all of our digital content that we've been working on. So today we are going to make lemon blueberry pancakes. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? I'm pretty excited. Um, there's a couple steps involved and we're gonna walk you through each step, but I'll also include the link to the recipe in the comments below. So to get started, we need to make our blueberry topping. Doesn't that sound delicious? So I've got a saucepan here and the way we make it is we have a cup and a half, one and a half cups of frozen blueberries, okay? And we have a fourth of a cup of sugar. And we have two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. Then we're going to stir that up like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the stove and it's going to cook really low for maybe about 15, 20 minutes until the blueberries start popping open. Um, and you're gonna make sure to keep a close eye on this and keep it stirred and um, you know make sure that it doesn't burn or stick. So that is our first step, is making that lemon blueberry topping. Now while we're doing that, we can measure and get our ingredients for our pancakes ready, okay? So I've measured everything out already and I've got my big glass mixing bowl and I've got a whisk, okay? So to make the pancakes, you're going to use one and a half cups of flour and I've already measured everything. We're gonna need three tablespoons of sugar and we're gonna need two teaspoons of baking powder. Now make sure you look at your box and make sure you use baking powder and not baking soda. So two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix those dry ingredients up to get them all mixed up before we add our wet ingredients. Okay. So we're going to set that aside. And then in this next bowl, I've got two eggs and vanilla and I'm going to add three-fourths of a cup of milk, okay? Now we might need more, kind of depending on how the mixture starts mixing up. So we're gonna whisk in these eggs real quickly. I added the flour, I mean the vanilla in with the eggs just to make it easier. And then our next ingredient is Greek yogurt. Now. Don't anyone go, ooh, that sounds gross. It's gonna be really good, and it's gonna give it a really neat flavor. It's not gonna taste yucky. You could use sour cream or plain yogurt if you didn't have Greek yogurt. And then we're gonna mix that up the best that we can too. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but that's okay. Cooking is an experiment. Okay, so we've got that kind of mixed in. And then in the wet ingredients goes into the dry ingredients. And then we take a whisk. That's why it's important to have a whisk. And we're going to whisk this all up. And this is gonna become our pancake batter. Okay. Now, remember I said we might need more milk because if our mixture is looking a little bit too dry or too thick, we can add a little bit more milk in it. And I do think it needs a little bit more milk, so I'm just gonna grab it. So yeah, because you, with baking, yeah, of course you do wanna be accurate, but when you're adding, when you're making things like pancakes, a lot of times you do need some more liquid and it's kind of a call about what may or may not be right. So that looks really good like that. Okay. And so what we're going to do next is 
we are gonna work on cooking our blueberry mixture. It's gonna cook on the stove top. And this pancake mixture, it actually needs to set for a little while. So um, we'll be back in about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so we're back. We have had our blueberry and sugar and lemon mixture cooking on the stove and it's been about 15 minutes and we can tell it's done because it has gotten really thick. The blueberries are starting to pop and it looks really delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. This is our blueberry topping, okay? Let me take it off the heat. So I've got a griddle preheating, okay? And I've got one started here so we can take a look at how it cooks. But when you use your flat top griddle, and remember, this is going to be hot, so you're going to need a little bit of butter or spray or anything that you have. This just keeps your pancake from sticking while it's on the pan. Okay. And then I like to use a measuring cup so they're all about the same size. You're going to get your measuring cup. You're going to come over here. You're going to put it on the griddle. Okay. And then just spread your pancake batter out just a little bit. And then we just wait. So the interesting thing about pancakes, you can always tell when they're ready to bake. You could come look at this one here. We start seeing these bubbles, okay? And what we're gonna do is as it's even more close to being ready to flip, we're gonna see lots more of those bubbles. And when we see them all over the surface of our pancake, that's when we know that we'll be ready to flip this pancake over. Now. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a plate because we're gonna want these ready. Okay, so are we seeing some bubbles yet? It's getting close. You can always turn your heat up just a little bit. I have an electric skillet, but you can use a, a pan on your stove if you've got one, that's fine too. I just think this is easier because it's nice and flat and you can do quite a few pancakes at one time. Okay, so we've had these pancakes cooking. Look at this pancake here. See all those bubbles that are getting ready to pop? That is telling us that that pancake is almost ready. This one over here is almost ready too. So when you do a pancake flip, you put your spatula all across it. See, it is tricky. And then you just go flip and then flip and down. Okay, now the next side, they're not going to need to cook very long. Not very long at all. Maybe 30 seconds. Okay, then while it's warm, you take it off of the griddle. Come over, get a spoon. We're gonna put our delicious blueberry mixture right on the top. Delicious. And that is our lemon and blueberry pancakes. All right, thanks so much for watching today and I hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys try to make this at home.